Welcome to Martin Survival. Today I'm gonna to show you how to make an awl using a leg bone of a mule deer. So stick around, we got a great show coming up. Now the first thing I wanna do when making my bone awl is I wanna measure this out. So with this particular one, I'm going to make a longer awl. And that means I'm gonna to have to cut farther down because I'm also going to taper this down into a point. So I have my Swiss tool here and remember this is bone. So this is, this is a lot harder. It's a lot denser than, uh, than wood. So it's gonna take quite a bit to saw through this, this bone. We can use a Swiss tool, a saw. We can use a Baco Laplander or we can resort to stone tools. Now with stone tools, we want a harder stone. So flint, uh, rhyolite, that, that works pretty well uh, for processing this bone. But in this case, I'm gonna go ahead and cut right down here. And I'm just gonna saw all the way through it. So you can see what we're left with. We have two pieces of bone here. Of course, this is my larger bone for the awl. And then I have a smaller piece that I just sawed off. Now I don't wanna disregard this because I can make other tools utilizing this smaller piece. I can make a small fish hook. I can make a small sewing needle. I can uh, even make beads out of it. So I'll just set this to the side and we'll use that a little bit later. Now, as far as this piece goes, when we sight down this bone, we can see there's two concaved areas. And what I wanna do is I wanna make a groove right down the center of these two concaved areas, and I'm going to split this in half. So I'll make two awls out of one piece of bone, and we'll go ahead and get started with that. So you can see what we did. We took that knife and we split the bone in two. And that's really the concept behind making those two grooves is just so we can get a nice even split and I have two tools to work with out of that one piece of bone. So at this point, I'm just going to take some sandpaper and I'm gonna start sanding this down. I'm gonna start cleaning up that inside and we'll go ahead and finalize our tool. All right, folks, so as you can see, this bone awl is now complete, and this thing is needle sharp up at the tip, so I won't have any problem whatsoever punching through leather, doing sewing applications, or even basket work out in the field. And just to show you how well this works, I have some leather uh, scrap here. This is buckskin that's tanned, and I'll double it up, and I'll punch right through it. So I simply place my bone awl at the bottom, and you can see that just glides in there. So if I'm making leather pouches, if I'm making a shirt or even pants, 
I can use this tool along with others that I've made to do so. And that just slips in there with no problem. Very, very sharp at the tip. And again, we'll double it. This time we'll even triple it. So you can see how effective a tool like this would be out in the field. So with that, folks, I do appreciate you joining me for this video. I'm Jeff with martinsurvival.com. We'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.